Hello everybody and welcome to my discussion video on my 1350 scale Enterprise refit build. Now, this wasn't, I'm going to say right now, this wasn't as fun as building my first model, which would be this beauty right here, the 1350 scale original series Enterprise, which was an amazing kit to work, work on. I mean, it was so great. I mean, I wish... Polar Lights would remake this kit from the ground up, like break the mold and make their own like they made this one. I mean, the thing I had problems with was the fit. I mean, this secondary hull, it's like, what, like one, two, three, four, five, six, six different pieces. I mean, and whereas this one was only, I think it was two, two or three. I mean, the, the, starboard and the port side stuck together with the seam in the middle and then the deflector in the front and that's all there was to it i mean this one is just a pain in the ass i mean trying to get everything to fit together was a real a real pain and the problem is i got it all put together and i had the seams all great and the lights blue because i did my own lighting and i was too cheap to buy a lighting kit so i went you know and i Bought an Arduino, which is down here. I'll turn it on for you this sec. I've got it unplugged. It's just temporary lighting right now. I mean, I can plug it in. It's hooked on too. So you can see it's it's not bad. I mean, I got... Turn this light off here. I mean, I've got the blinking down, like the strobe. And deflector. I mean, I, I'll show you later that I've got it hooked up to a... Um, like a two bipolar LED. It's orange and or amber and blue. It's just I have to unplug it. It's temporary. I have to unplug it from the power in and power out. So I've got it and it looks good. I mean the deflector looks good. It looks good down here. I mean this is just temporary. I mean I still have some finishing to do. I mean these seams are a pain in the ass. I just was going over it just now with uh, some plastic putty. This stuff right here. So yeah, and this base also needs work. I mean, I have it lit up, but it's not connected right. When I do the final, the final uh, wiring, it'll be all lit up and look pretty good, I think. So that's the thing. So. I'll turn this back on again. I'll show you. Like a lot of people say they're afraid to tackle this kit because of the aztec -ing. And I found the Aztec, the aztec was really fun and enjoyable. I mean, it was great. I had my airbrush. I used three different colors, I think. I used blue, green, and gold. And I ran it through my airbrush and it was really fun. Now, the problem I have with that is it's not very pronounced. I mean... As you can see here, you can barely, you can see it. You can barely see it. And I don't know if it's supposed to be that way or what, but I don't know. It looks good under bright, bright light. So, yeah. So that's the problems I had with that. So, here, I'll show you the back too. I'll show you the uh, shuttle bay, which was really cool. And you can see it back there. It goes in pretty good. And I did a good job. That was the first thing I did on this model. I did the whole hangar bay first. And I spent a lot of time on it, as you can see. It looks pretty good. And under there, I've got this. But I couldn't get the strobe. Like, when the light's blue, I couldn't get out the strobe light, so it's gone on the bottom. And under here, too, I just finished doing some light blocking along this part here. I don't know if my fingers, but under there, you can see it. I'm doing some light blocking. And I'm not quite done here. And I got the Arboretum down pretty good. Although the, the glass I used, it was just uh, like packaging, clear packaging. You know, that you find on, you buy something. And it's like the clear part. I just cut that out. And it's kind of cloudy and stuff, so you can't really see all the way through. But, yeah. No, I didn't I didn't enjoy this kit as much as the first one. And look at that seam there. God, I mean I took some clamps and I was clamping it down with glue and 
It's just, it won't, it won't go together, man. I mean, no matter how hard you try, there's always going to be a freaking scene there. It's a pain in the ass. And under here too, like when this thing, uh, when this thing, when the lights blew, I had to take the whole freaking thing apart. I mean, and then this, I just, up here, I just put some, uh, some filler in there. So I'm going to have to sand that down and then paint, uh, paint the lines across. But, and then this bridge, I was thinking about buying an aftermarket bridge because look, I did a shitty job on that. And you can see in there, here, I'll turn this light off so you can see inside, inside the officer's lounge. Again, I use that plastic and it's cloudy, so you can't really see him. But I've spent a lot of time with that too. I mean, I don't know. It's just, this is a model for like pro modelers and I ain't no pro modeler, so. This is a this is not the best I can do, but I kind of rushed it, and now with COVID over and I'm fucking got two jobs now instead of one, and I won't have the time to spend anymore and making this thing pretty. So this is about as well. I'm gonna still do some work on it. I mean, this isn't finished. I mean, you can see I'm about to sand all this crap down right now. I'm waiting for that to dry, but. No, no, I, I didn't have fun on this one. Yeah, so my next steps will be, well, to fill in the windows because I didn't put uh, a lot of these windows here are, are just holes. So I bought this stuff right here. It's um, UV, UV um, resin and the old little UV flashlight. And I did that up here on the bridge, these side windows here. I, you know, I modified the bridge to make the, uh, to make the light come forward, you know, this part. Here, let me turn off the TV. You can see it now, right? The spotlight. Like, a lot of people do that Raytheon, uh, stuff, which I think looks stupid. I like the natural lighting a lot better. I mean, look at that. I mean, it looks like the movie, kind of. <laughs> you know, cheap beer eating copy if I was doing it. But, yeah, it looks good in the dark. I mean, this one uh, looks pretty good in the dark. You don't uh, turn the lights on and go up close to it. <laughs> see all my errors. But yeah, it looks pretty good. See? That's not uh, too overpowered. What I did there was I took some uh, regular wax paper. Right here. Took the wax paper roll and, you know, cut out little circles and stuck it in there. So I diffused the light better. Because otherwise, it just looks like, uh, it looks phony, right? It looks cheap. It looks, there's this big bright spot in the middle, and you can't really correct it. But here, you know, you can see it. It's not too overpowered. I mean, I've got two two layers of light blocking in there. Two of these little sheets stuck together. And, you know, you could put two or three to make it look even more diffused. So, yeah. So my next steps are on this model is, as I said, to do the uh, the windows with the UV. Uh, this Arduino has to be mounted inside. Uh, these do light up. These windows light up. And I've got a switch right here. Switches from amber to warp mode, right? Impulse to warp mode. That's underneath. I just have to plug them in and then wire it. What I want to do is, it's got two different power power sources now. One for the Arduino, one for the lights. So I'm gonna reprogram the Arduino to uh, to it to accept the uh, second power source, right? So I don't have to have two. That'll be easy. I just have to take it and reprogram it. It's easy, right? So I just haven't done it yet, and I'll do that whenever. That'll they... be the last step. So, yeah, little review again, you know, you can't rush this model. I mean, you got to take your damn time. You got to get it. So it's like, like I did here. I, I spent almost a month on this. I bought the Paragraphics uh, kit, which was, you know, I guess it was worth it. I mean, it gave you some parts. I mean, like this back part here. 
they gave you parts for the shuttles like the uh the hatches here i haven't put one in there i might i don't know uh what else did it give you uh yeah the girders which i didn't use back there i didn't use them because it was i just didn't want to do it it's too time consuming i should have maybe but i didn't and what else did it come with oh yeah these things right here for the um the impulse those brass things you can see in there and what else did it come with uh that's oh yeah then these back parts here i haven't uh i haven't assembled this back part yet either as you can see i still have to cover that with the resin here and here these back marker things and what else um that's about it for this model i mean if I was going to do another model, I think I'd do the, the 1350 scale Klingon chip as opposed to the uh, the NX Enterprise, like from the, the show Enterprise, which I was never a fan of. Or unless they come out with a Reliant kit, that's 1350. I mean, I'd buy that in a heartbeat. That's probably a lot easier to put together than this thing. I mean, as I said, this secondary hull, man, holy shit. <laughs> that is a, I don't know, it's a lesson in patience. You have to do. A, I know, like Boyd and Chuckworks says, you have to trim some parts, but yeah, you know, he's not really clear on what to do with that. I mean, what parts of the tabs do you clear off? I don't know. You know, so I didn't do it. And as you can see, look at that gap. It's crap. So yeah, I will do a collage again, like I did with my Enterprise, the first Enterprise, like the the picture collage, because I've got about a thousand pictures of uh, the progress I did. Um, like, as I said, the, the lighting isn't a, a big deal, really. I mean, it's LED strips, a couple of LEDs, and then, you know, just have to have the right ones, the right LEDs. It's not that big of a deal, man. That's it's not a problem. So, yeah, I'd suggest when you're building this, you know, not to rush it, you know, make the Aztec the last thing you do. I mean... If I had to do this again, I'd assemble the whole kit, paint it, and then do the Aztec over top, which is what I should have done in the first place. But, I don't know, I kind of like how it turned out. I mean, underneath, you can barely see it, but it's there. Yeah. But, yeah, that's my, my advice to you. I mean, look, I mean, like, that Aztec looks really good. I was really happy with how that turned out. I mean, there's nothing wrong here. I mean, I got it all good. I got the decals on there and everything. And I was really happy. And the decals on the front looked pretty good. I mean, and then I had to take the whole damn thing apart because the light's blue. Because I, you know, it looked like a bowl of spaghetti, the wiring. <laughs> I had it all jumbled and shit, especially up in here. This is where all the wiring comes in, right behind here. Because there is the arboretum. There's not much space here with the arboretum. And it just leaves you about this much space to jam all your wires that come in from here and connect it from there and then lead it down through there and but what i would say is there's lots of room in there to put the lighting i mean along the sides the secondary hall it's not like the uh, the first model where you had that horrible seam well there's the seam again the seam was on top but i don't know i i just prefer the first model I would do another one of the first models again, now that I know, you know, all the spots where you have to take your time. This one is just, it's so time consuming. I mean, there's another guy on YouTube where he did, I think, 12 or 13 parts, and then he just got so frustrated with the damn thing that he stopped. I don't know if you know who I'm talking about, but he's a, he's an older guy, and he's done a, quite a few models before. Yeah, but he's, he's, I feel bad for him because it's, Kind of a heartbreaking model. I mean, you go along and then it's like one step forward, two steps back if you forget something or if you don't do a good job. Yeah, see, that looks like shit now. I mean, I shouldn't have done that, but it was such a big light leak there. I'm going to have to repaint that somehow. Up in here. And then up in here. I have to sand that down. Because I did it in the dark, right? I'm trying to see where all the dark little light leaks are coming through. So I have to get rid of that. Anyways, yeah, so look for my uh, 
collage video coming soon. I just uh, have to run it through my editor and put some music tracks on there and stuff. So, yeah, anyways, so if you're going to do this model, I mean, be wary. <laughs> be wary because it's, it's a pain in the ass. I mean, from some angles, it looks good, like this angle. I mean, hey, it almost looks professional. But then once you go down, it's like, uh-oh. <laughs> uh-oh, danger. Danger. You know, you can see the gaps in the fucking everything. Just bad. I mean, well, it'll look kind of good beside my my first model. So, this is Drone Terra signing off. And I probably won't make any more videos for a while. So now I'm back to the salt mines again. <laughs> okay. Have a good, have a good, uh, good day, night, weekend, and I will see you in a future video. Okay. Bye-bye.